everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Let's take a look at the stream charts because I always like taking a look at the numbers. They make my mind tingle and I like to tingle. Uh, independent is the top one. VTuber agency is basically anyone who's an indie. They get more than anyone else, of course, because there are hundreds and thousands of indies. So overall together, they get more. Two, Hollow Live TV. Three, Nidhi Sanji app, which is basically Hollow Live Nidhi Sanji. V Spo is four. Five is V Shoujo. Six is Isegia Idol. Seven is Neo Porte. Eight is Accelers. Accelers is someone that I didn't even know. Uh, nine is Face Connect. Ten is 774, which I I do watch some 774. They, I think these last thing was used to be called Animale or something like that, which was their animal VTubers. Uh, their, their Kimono Mimi VTubers, more more said, because Anidi Sanji has an actual animal as a VTuber, has an actual uh, Shiba Inu as a VTuber, but these are all there. And of course, taking a look at the actual numbers here, you have the quarter on quarter hours watched, the dynamics of VTubers, uh, of the V stats, hours watched, number of channels. The number of channels stayed around, around the same, but the hours watched went from 194 million in quarter one of 20. 22 to now in quarter two of 2024 415 million hours overall for vtubers that's really really cool i am liking that let's look at this next one by percentage of number of channels hours watched we have hours watched by others 0.1 percent chhzk is 2.3 percent africa tv i don't even know what that one is uh 3.8 percent twitch 29 uh 29.9 and youtube 63.9 youtube has by channels 53 percent of the channels uh, 45.2% from Twitch, Kick has 1%, and others have 0.8%. So, you know, these little things are always fun to look at. We have here another gender and country distribution of VTubers. Uh, by top 4,000 plus VTubers, we have 1.2% organization, 27.3% male. I guess this one is they, them, the 1.2. 69.5% female, and 2% um, others. And these are self-reported, I believe. Uh, and the by top percentage of where they are in the country, uh, the country distribution, 52% Japan VTubers, 15%, 15.9, almost 16% USA, 3% South Korea, 2% Canada, 2% Taiwan, 2% UK, 1.8% Indonesia, 1.6% Australia, not Austria, Australia, 1.4% Germany, well, 0.1% Puerto Rico, and I think that's pretty much just Iron Mouse. <laughs> at this point, I think it's just Iron Mouse at that point. Um... That 0.1%. I think that's just Iron Mouse that they put in there. Uh, VTuber agencies proportioned by viewership. We're having 35% independent of the hours watched. 35% of them are independent. 22% Hololive. 19% Nidhi Sanji. So Hololive has a larger proportion of viewership. 5% Vishojo. Uh, virtual esports. Virtual esports project. 5.5%. 3.7% Vishojo. Isegi is 3.4. Neoporta 1.9. Accelers. Uh, uh, Accelers is 1.8%, uh, 0.7% uh, is uh, Face Connect, 0.5% is 774, and 5.3% others, which I'm assuming is, I don't know, smaller agencies all put together? I don't know what that would be. Most watched hours. We have this here. 10.3 million watch hours for Kuzuha. Then we have Bekwara's number two overall, based on hours watched. Then we have Kanae, which is a, uh, she does both Twitch and YouTube. Then we have Miko channel from Hollow Live again. Iron Mouse, uh, the independent, the the V Shoujo talent, lovely mouse, Iron Mouse. You have Aqua there, then Koyori Subaru, a Korean streamer looks like, yeah, South Korean streamer who is uh part of their du duo deal whatever uh streaming service, and then Lauren Iroas, which also has a YouTube channel. So so far, top pretty much top uh except top four uh are all uh larger agencies and then the top five is rounded by iron mouse which is amazing for her to do so much holy crap that is amazing next we go of course the most watched english speaker vtubers 6.12 million is english speaking for iron mouse the most watched and then treya then uh koseki biju henya the genius admiral baru oh nice baru's getting a lot Michi Mochi V, Fillion, Cinder, Iris, and Takanashi Kiara. So Iron Mouse is destroying everybody, even Hololive, in the EN sphere. Most watched English. An hour's watched. It's, that's, that's a lot of hours. Sometimes by, by uh, almost almost a factor of three, but at least a factor of two. Um, that's insane. Most popular VTubers, of course, Bekwara, by based on average viewers on her average CCV. Then we have Kusuha, Miko, Aqua, Subaru, Kanae, Korone, Azki, Lauren Iruas, 
And again, once again, the South Korean VTuber. I'm sorry, I can't read their name. I just call it South Korean VTuber. I apologize. Uh, fastest growing VTuber channels. We have Sui channel is growing humongous 370k uh, on quarter two. Got then we have Elizabeth 288k, Rose, uh, Rara, Cecilia, uh, Gigi. No, oh, no, this is not Gigi. This is Gingitsune Gehenna, a Aka Virtual. Wow. Then we have Gigi Murin, uh, Suisei Luntium, which is nice. Oh, Lundun, Lundun from uh, from Nidhi Sanji's. Uh, then we have another Japanese VTuber and Aka Virtual. So we have the growth there is being seen by all. And those are the numbers that I wanted to wrap up. I wanted to look at the uh, actual numbers there to give you guys an idea of what's going on in the pulse of the VTuber world. A bit of a quickie, as most of my things end up not being so quick, so maybe it won't be. Uh, Sunny's latest update, Sunny Splosion, which is Kunai's PL, says, just so you know, I'm doing okay. Just drifting around in my head all the time recently. So I think she's still on hiatus or at least on some kind of break. Um, she's just relaxing a little bit. She's been relaxing a lot more recently. Good for her, absolutely. Hoping everything's all right on their end. Uh, hope she finds a way to get out of Niji. I hope that she finds a way to be happy. Whether it is inside of Niji Sanji or not, I hope she's happy. I'm not going to be, you know, one of those people that's like forcing, like trying to force with my will for her to leave. But uh, just based on what has happened in the past, she might be able to be more free somewhere else besides Niji Sanji. I'm just saying that just as, you know, thinking out loud. How does she relate to Niji Sanji? It's Kunai's PL. She's been pretty active on it, especially in comparison to other Nijis which recently went to definite hiatus. Yeah, so basically, yeah, she's, she's, she's allowing her PL, using her PL to kind of release her stress. And since Niji Sanji doesn't seem to really care nowadays, they are more likely to do this in the future. Because they used to be really strong against this because they say you can't use third-party things, you know, while, like other places to uh, stream while you're doing streams, that kind of thing, while you're streaming for Nidhi Sanji. But I do hope that she's happy wherever she wants to go. That is the decision that's up to her. And of course, I know she'll be supported wherever she goes. Equal opportunities. Just saw this news on Kyo's video and now can't stop laughing. Um, it's like, I believe our mission as a company is to create content that allows each individual to thrive and build a comprehensive support system. Right. There's no superiority or inferiority in the support system for each VTuber. And we will provide equal opportunities for each one. We would like to do our best to enrich each VTuber, regardless of whether they are an existing VTuber or a new one. Right. Basically, no war embossing, say. No um, no favoritism in Niji Sanji when there absolutely is favoritism in Niji Sanji. Absolutely, there's favoritism in Niji Sanji. Yes, the good old, there's no favoritism in Niji Sanji. Exactly. Provide equal opportunities for each one. Want to ask Vivi and Ver about that sequence? <clears throat> exactly. For a million uh vivi not getting very many opportunities Riku, every liver will receive equal rights and they don't listen they'll receive equal lefts as well <laughs> yeah the uh the vtuber community is is uh the vtuber fan community is kind of rough on this one of course uh equal opportunities for each one and yet they treat xid members as if they're non-existent well they aren't lying every member needy sandy has equal opportunity to have their spotlight and potential merchandise taken by vox and Lyra over them that is an equal opportunity not exactly the one that everyone was looking for of course but it is an equal opportunity. They say, whereas Alira has more merch opportunities than every Luxium and Noxix member, except for Vox, has about 50% more merch than Pomo, despite Pomo's super chat earnings dwarfing Alira's nearly by a factor of two to one. Equal opportunities, my ass. Uh, the only reason they'll now make an even playing field is because they all they'll put forward from here on out is the same cookie cutter merch they do for everyone. Now, to be honest with you, just being honest and being fair, um, I saw people like, oh, they're doing acrylic stands, they're doing all this stuff. I've mentioned that before. Taking a look at it, every VTuber does an acrylic stand. Every VTuber does acrylic stuff. Why? It's the easiest and quickest stuff to sell. It is. Uh, fortunately, unfortunately, whatever you want to call it, it is the easiest thing for them to sell themselves. It is something that uh, they are able to do on their own, and it is easier to uh, get it commissioned and get it done. The art works better on it, stays better on it, that kind of stuff. The thing is, with a large organization like Niji Sanji, it seems lazy. It just seems lazy on my part, like from me, from me, it seems lazy. When it comes to smaller VTubers, I understand because, you know, we don't have the same margins that... Um, we can't go for the low margins like the Nidhi Sanji can. Uh, we can't go for things like that. We can't like, we can't go to like a Chinese vendor and be like, make 10,000 of these because then we're screwed. And unless it's like, even if it's $1 for each, that's 10,000 bucks that we'd have to put in. And like for Nidhi Sanji, $10,000 to put in is nothing. And then, you know, they're making maybe 100,000 off of that because they can sell it for like uh, 10, 10 bucks off of that. So, you know, they buy it for a dollar, send for 10. I wish I could do that. Uh, but, you know, like, as being a small VTuber, it's much, much harder. This person's talking about Michi Mochi V. The story might give a hint onto what's going on with EN. So we've all heard of Michi say it about Bethany 
how she could not even take a picture of her play button. One aspect that I feel less focused on is how she talked about how much pressure was put on her to succeed to keep Niji idea afloat. I specifically focused on that part in one of my videos. I did. I focused on that part in one of my videos about Michi Mochi V, the most, one of the most recent ones in the last two days. I focused on that part. It's not right for her to be the only one or the one that, you know, is, is shouldering all of a whole branch on her back. That is not cool. And anyway, I think EN talents might have management telling them the same thing. And honestly, if it is, it explains recent-ish events like Fur beating himself up over Unmarketable. It explains why talents are vague posting their DG accounts and Doom posting on their PLs. And honestly explains why so many are doing, aren't doing so much anymore. If management is throwing on you need to do well or our branch will be shut down alongside the other S they tell the talents to control them. It explains what's been observed. I'm not saying it's definite or even confirmed, but it does make sense. It does make sense, in my opinion. We're going to punish you for your own F-ups. For our own F-ups. That's just plain abusive practice right there. Don't be hyperbolic. Clearly, Ni Niji has struck on the honored winning formula. The beatings will continue until morale improves. Pretty much. That's what they're doing. If that's true, then holy F- the gall of them to say the branch's success is on the shoulders of a talent when the management is entirely responsible for how effed it is right now. Other agencies are doing well under the same or worse conditions than you, so why why can't you? This problem started because one of you, we had nothing to do on this. One of your co-workers was the bully that caused all of this. You're going to let that person ruin your dream? Yeah, that's the kind of BS stuff that Niji Sanji puts out. That's the kind of BS stuff that Niji Sanji tries to press on their talents, and that is just, just wrong. I feel like the unmarketable thing has been a thing for a while. I mean, Doki mentioned that she thought she was unmarketable. Yes, Pomu. Uh, Nina thought the same thing. Nina confided in Sayu and thinking the same thing. I feel like the pressure is really starting to amp up in severity as time goes on. Hope that nobody gets to a point where they break down since it feels like management is harping on them for doing not doing better. That's why you have so many people taking breaks. And I don't blame them. When a company does this to you, it breaks you from the inside. And it's just you don't have a desire to continue doing anything. Um... Sometimes a community can break you down like that. Sometimes you have enough haters and you can break down that way. I've seen it happen to smaller creators themselves. It's not fair. And I'm glad that people that need to take a break are taking a break. And I, if this is true, if these, you know, suppositions and rumors are true, then I do hope that they find a better place for them, whether it be a better, better mental place and still stay with, within Niji Sanji or whatever it may be. Any color had a annual securities report, I guess for the US or for, for just Japan, maybe. Uh, fans in the US usually actually contributed a lot in overseas sales, even more than Asian countries, including China. Now imagine how that'll change after the lens termination. Only use Reddit to read posts. This page is an any color securities post here. They have um, translated it, of course. Uh, it says right here, released annually and previous ones can be found on the IR page, Investor Relations. Feel free to translate. Revenue by region, uh, covered in pages 92 to 93. Metric shows how much of their sales come from Japan uh, and the US, Asia, and other countries. Niji JP, EN, and others. Because of this, we can actually know how much each region has. Here, they broke it down for us. Our numbers in billions of yen rounded to two decimal places. Last fiscal year, May 2022 to April 23. Japan, 19 billion yen. US, 5.46 billion yen. Asia, 0.8 billion yen or 800 million yen. Uh, other, like maybe 30,000 yen. And total, 25.34 billion yen. Uh, fiscal year here is right um, May 2023 to April 2024. Japan, 25.49 billion yen. 5.26, so it hasn't even lowered that much from US. Asia, 1.24 billion, other 0 0.002 billion, a total of 32 billion. So they grew a lot in Japan. Holy crap, Japan really made them grow a lot. Uh, so more cash flowing from Japan and Asia, good for any color. On the other hand, US and others have decreased, but not by much, surprisingly. I thought it would have like, been like at least 1 billion yen less. What's unexpected is that the US has contributed a lot in sales, significantly more than Asia, which should include China, with EN boys having made a lot of money from the Chinese at their peak, unless Chinese are actually paying in dollars, the numbers from Asia are surprisingly low. So then termination was in February 2024. So U.S. sales are affected about one quarter of this fiscal year. My assumption is that money from U.S. mostly goes to Niji Sanji EN due to language barrier with JP at all. With a lot of boycotting currently going on in the Western Hemisphere, imagine how much this will affect Niji Sanji EN for the next fiscal quarter. It's going to affect them a lot. That's the lens termination was February 2023. Uh, it's February 2024 is what it was. It was this year. It wasn't that year. My mistake fixed it. Niji's revenue from the West is most likely going to continue to decrease. Much of this may have livers, unfortunately, that don't want them to suffer, but it's unavoidable. Um, but yeah, it is unavoidable. 
Uh, I don't want the Liversus stuff for either. You always know that. I am an advocate as a VTuber, advocate of other VTubers having success. Unfortunately, they are part of a large bad organization. That's why I wish more like super chats and memberships for them because they get 50% cut from those instead of merch. Because merch, they only get the 2%. And sometimes even 1%, as freaking Michi Mochi V said, uh, they get 1% cut. Like, she would get 1% cut. I don't know if that was something with ID or something, but they would get a 1% cut. That's horrible. Out of every 100 bucks, they'd only get $1? That's horrible. And that is after, you know, after net. That is net. Sure, some of the livers have less what? stellar uh, re repetition at the moment, but doesn't mean that I want them to suffer. I do hope that none of them are in any form of financial trouble. That is my hope, too. My hope is that they don't get into financial trouble and they are treated well in the future. I'm not sure if it's going to happen because, you know, Riku Tazumi is still going to be there and some of the higher ups, which I don't like the higher ups, are going to be there. So who knows? But that's my hope. Here we have in a little bit of a meme style. What achievements of attending Hololive and Nidhi Sanji feels like? Basically, what happens when you are a Nidhi Sanji person or a Hololive person? Collab with Idolmaster, she achieved her dream. Many dreams that Suisei has been able to achieve. It was once in a lifetime opportunity and the JPEG is the, the, the pixels. We need more pixels. Why not less pixels? Let's make it less pixels. It is at three, a 340p, 320p. Let's make it 144p. That makes it better. But yeah. Uh, uh, absolutely. Uh, opportunities of a lifetime are gone when it comes to Nidhi Sanji. Look what happened to Derem recently, Derem Kado, that I mentioned in another video. <coughs> she had a huge project that she was doing. Huge project with some livers that are now graduated. And because of health and other things, uh, it was pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's gone. And here we have, choose your retirement home, Vishojo, Hololive, or Face Connect. Choose a Pokemon, yes. Any one of these three is a good place to be, to be perfectly honest with you. Any one of these three is perfect. Although Hololive isn't really picking up any retirement people. Bishoujo's a little bit more of it. And Phase Connect does pick up, you know, it's Phase Invaders. Uh, it does pick up people who are doing very well. So that is one thing that goes on there. Of course, being Indian is a secret option of choosing Pikachu and the hidden method. Exactly. It's one of those things. But just giving you guys a little bit of a meme here. A cross post, a little bit of a, I guess this could become a meme or it just become, it's a regular story at this point. But I'm going to meme it up a little bit just because I'm gonna, I love yucking it up. Hollow Stars perfumes incoming. Now you can smell like Astle's farts or something. I don't know. Hollow Stars produced fragrance will be released. Fragrances produced by each member of Hollow Stars will be released. Uh, they're currently working hard on it. Further information on the design. It's going to be Hollow Live BO coming to you in a bottle. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just playing around. Uh, it's good to have these things because, well, that means that's another avenue, another avenue of them making it. This will be like something like, for example, if Astol loves like flowery scents or loves, you know, peachy scents or anything like that, that's what's going to be. If um, any one of the other Hollow Stars boys, whether JP or EN, have a specific scent that they love, a specific type of perfume that they love, a specific type of cologne that they like, that type of note that they can go after, uh, that is good. I think uh, Nidhi Sanji's done that too. It is something creative, at least. Even when Nidhi Sanji did it, it was creative. Um, it is an idea. I'm just messing I'm messing around with, you know, saying that you're going to be smelling of their farts or smelling of their BO. They're going to have wonderful scents. I guarantee it. It's Hololive, for God's sake. So, you know, they're not going to mess anything up when it comes to that. Me just, you know, I'm just a, a jokester. Thank you very much for your continued support of Barium Talents. We would like to inform you that the management contract for our company's talent, Chiyo Oshino, has been terminated as of July 31st by mutual agreement. And that is, of course, something that is unfortunate. Reason that led to termination of the contract, we have warned the talent individual, the individual specifically, because we had observed behavior that violated the contract uh, on what they were doing. We would like to sincerely apologize to all the fans who supported Oshino Chiyu up until now. We apologize for sudden announcements. So this means that there was something behind the scenes that um, the behavior they didn't like. I don't know if it's like a Nidhi Sanji thing where it's just they didn't follow rules, uh, like the strict rules, or if it's them doing something actually bad. Uh, they're very, very um like restrictive on what they're sending her youtube and twitch channels related to ocean chi would be closed the public august 7th memberships individual voice sales on booth various sns services would gradually suspended this year the first anniversary merchandise for very own second generation which has already been announced will continue to be released as is regarding this matter please refrain from making inquiries to our affiliated talent we well they're not affiliated with you anymore we appreciate your continued support and patronage of our, our affiliated talent. They're not affiliated with you anymore. Seems like a pretty standard termination notice. Sucks that she isn't going to get a farewell stream. At least it's not a streamer a smear document listing all her faults and mistakes. And for termination, this is generally the best way to go out without any trouble. So they have learned from Nidhi Sanji's things. 
Uh, they have learned from everything going on. This, uh, I thought this is Niji. Nah, it can't be. Document too short. She is probably the very member with I'm least familiar with. I don't recall her ever doing anything problematic. They have some members who are charmingly chaotic, so it'd be damn shame if they started to become overly strict. Probably it was behind the scenes what caused the termination. Looks like she has mangaka skilled. Uh, probably, yeah, they did at least allow her to have a farewell message. So she was able to have a farewell message to her fans, which is good. The uh, She was able to have a message from Chiyu Oshino, very a management. This is the, um, and here is the translation for you guys. Sorry it took so long. Uh, to all Chai Chiyu Shinobi, I'm sorry that it turned out like this. A lot has happened since our debut, but thanks to everyone, we were able to do our best until today. I'd be happy if I could be some help to someone. Oshino's activities have ended today, but please take care of your fellow members. I hope you all live a healthy life. Thank you for supporting Chiyu Oshino until today. So that is a message at the very least they let her have this message to let them have a goodbye message. Uh, this person is saying here, of course, thank you for your hard work. Hope it reaches the person in question. Please continue to take care of your health. So they're hoping it reaches them. And of course, um, everything is hopefully well with them. And they hopefully are getting support that they need behind the scenes and grow in a new place. Thing that every single content creator has had to face some of the larger ones because of what is going on. Uh, because when you're larger, you have people trying to piggyback off of your success and uh, with Mint specifically in them. And they try to, because you are a larger creator, you're getting, you know, I don't know how many thousands of views. A lot of times they either claim it directly as an in ineligible for money or they do revenue share, which gives them like 90% of the revenue for it. In this case, it is someone, a troll, copyright claiming something that they shouldn't be copyright claiming because not even theirs, it's Konami's instead of theirs. But since they put it on a video of theirs, they start claiming it as if it is theirs. And here's what I'm talking about. Downgrade the, Ooh. my PC is like chugging. <laughs> Why are we still playing it? <laughs> Why do I just watch? <laughs> Wait, what, okay, what do you want to I'm going to send a cease and desist. <laughs> I've, already, I've already been copyright claimed by, for this fucking stream. And I hope I'm going to call out this guy because I hate his ass so much. I hope he shits out his pancreas tomorrow. I hate this guy so much. <laughs> Thinking, what's his name? He can have copyrights. Ex Zarkon. I hope you have the shittiest day of your life tomorrow and every day for the rest of your life, motherfucker. This guy claims every single person that ever plays Metal Gear Solid 2 because he decided to upload the entire codec conversation to his shitty ass mixtape music and is just like, I own this now. And then he copyright claims every single person and nobody, he just gets away with it every time. And his music is ass. Yeah. <laughs> SoundCloud rappers. <laughs> yeah. True. SoundCloud rappers, I mean, like, look, there's some good SoundCloud rappers over there, but Exarchon, screw you for copyright claiming and being a troll like that. You put the the codec on your stream. You should be claimed by Konami. This is a Konami thing, and you're claiming it as your own. That is not the way things work. This is not the way the legal system works. If someone had enough money to fight you, you would lose in court, and then they would get you for court costs, etc. You know what I mean? They would get you for all that. That's the issue. That's the issue at hand. That's what's going to happen. That's what will continue to happen. I hope someone does get him. I'm not familiar with Xarkon is, I'm not even going to look at his channel. He is, I think, this guy here. Yeah, he's a, he's a, a crappy uh, a rapper. He's trying to, uh, you know, get a lot of recognition. If you didn't do things like this, maybe more people would actually recognize you. Maybe more people would actually do something to go and support you. But if you're going to be a troll like this, a clown this way, you're going to get clowned as well. Um, point Konami in his direction. They're pretty trigger happy with claims. A friend of mine recently started f playing Final Fantasy 14 and she was started getting hit by another one of these clowns, Latin Auto Perf. Uh, what's happening again is she was doing her own Chrono Trigger playthrough. Every time she contested the clown, she won due to no contest. Real pain would be if the, if the filer actually did contest. YouTube would actually go, yeah, you guys need to fight it out in court, which is an expensive affair that you can get ugly fast. The problem with this is rooted in the DMCA, how YouTube has nearly automated the process. You basically, they're very hands off in order for them to have the safe harbor provision of, you know, and not actually getting DMCA claims directly to them. They have to allow this to happen and it sucks. It really, this hands off approach really sucks. As a creator, I don't like it. Welcome back everybody to today's, tonight's VTuber showcase. It is a showcase where I try to give a little bit back to the community that has given so much to me, to all the wonderful people that I have met along the way and the people that I've yet to meet in the future. This is Naysay. I apologize if I butchered your name. I tend to do that around here. I tend to butcher names. I apologize. So they are she, her, 
Uh, they are not a full-time content creator and they are not a YouTuber. They sadly haven't edited a proper trailer yet, but they, I will show things that, uh, they mentioned that they have not edited the trailer, but I will show you parts of, you know, little parts here that you can take a look at and little parts that will hopefully give you an idea of what they are all about. Keep like kicking it. I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's because I was eating a... Uh... Edamame. Edamame. Edamame, yes. It poppy pops. It poppy pops. She is an Englishing. She English is an Englishing. That's one thing she does have. She has that cute side of her. Uh, Naya said, but everyone calls me uh, Mine. I'm a wholesome cat girl. It speaks English, Polish, and Danish. Holy crap. Trilingual. And uh, polyglot. Uh, I'm a person that loves metal music, but at the same time, super wholesome. That's kind of a theme with my personality. Favorite flower is Sakura, so I have a detailed feature on everything. Recently had a 2.0 debut, which inspired me to start talking, taking YouTube more seriously. Stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday for, at the very least, October four years. I've been learning everything from basic scratch, which is the way that a lot of us VTubers do. We learn from scratch. Didn't know anybody or anyone, and one day decided to go on this insanely huge journey, which has been one of the best decisions they have ever made, according to them. Uh, for games, I play Apex, WoW, Sky Children of Light, VR Chat, recently finished at Baldur's Gate 3. Wow. So they've been doing a lot. They primarily stream on Twitch, variety gaming, and chats a lot. Get distracted a lot too, kind of like how I am, but I'm a squirrel, so that kind of makes sense. Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 6 p.m. CET, Central European Time. They like being a VTuber because it helps them feel comfortable. They admire anybody who's able to stream with a webcam. For me, VTubing allowed me to free myself. Same thing here, uh, to be myself. I used to have bad social anxiety, I still do. And I can definitely understand that. VTubing does help. And you meet so many wonderful people here. They are willing to collab if things mesh properly. I recently had a birthday. Next big event will be in October for my four-year anniversary on Twitch. Insane how time flies. They have a future plans. They want to grow more, as everyone does. Recently started taking YouTube, TikTok more seriously as I've been learning to edit and have fun with it. Future plan is to grow these social media platforms too. So they want to grow. They want to grow. And of course, one big thing they recommend is be kind to your body, mind, and soul. You are enough the way you are, and there's nothing wrong with you. I love these pers public uh, messages of kindness. That's what I try to show in my community as well. That's why I do things like I do right now. And of course, let's take a look at um, any info about me, any extras. They like uh, cats. They like other things like that. Uh, they are, like they mentioned before, they do do some uh, YouTube stuff. I was looking for the YouTube channel. Uh, but right now, we are going to also go to their TikTok. They have things like this. I can't pronounce it. Well, you know what I mean? Now, right. Now, narrative. Now, 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 narrative. <laughs> narrative. It's narrative, of yeah. course. It's narrative, but yes. Cute. Thank you so much for being a part of this VTuber showcase. I will have all of their socials in the description and in the pinned comments in the video. Thank you so much. And I can hope that you continue to grow. Hope they continue to find wonderful people out there as everyone has in the VTubing scene. Thank you so much. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.